Hey everybody, Claps Under here. Just hanging out. Waiting for that next patch, which seems to be slow in coming. So nothing terribly exciting to show you today. Just gonna go over a few things that hopefully a few tips that might help some people out and I uh, thought I'd show you my base. I've only whipped through it maybe a couple times. Uh, so first things first, um, still see people looking where to find the beavers. I mean, I can't help you find the high, high level beavers because they are somewhat rare. But to help you find beavers, as you can see on my screen, just so happens right at my base, I currently have six beavers running around here. It seems every time I log in, there's new beavers. I can see, there's, yeah, there should be six around here anyway. For the map, for the, those that don't know, right up here. Little oasis in the middle of the trees, up kind of northeast corner of the island. Just off of Carno Island. So it's a good place to look. They keep spawning here like crazy. You can see four there. One swimming right there. I think there's one playing with my T-Rexes. So, good place to start looking. This is just my house. What do you do with a house at this point? Uh, i got a bookshelf. Keeping my records on my 120s. As you can see here. Just if, uh, oh, pardon me, if I get into breeding or whatnot little bed, sun deck. So yeah, there's a house for you. Thrilling, I'm sure. Next thing I wanted to talk about, um, I still experience this big time. Um, see other people still complaining. Uh, the dung beetles. They just stop producing fertilizer and oil all the time. Supposed to be fixed, definitely not fixed. Um, this guy's had most of these on him for days. Um, just doesn't work, this time's out. And so, those that don't know, there is a fix that'll get him going again. So what you want to do, disable the wandering. eventually should stop empty out his inventory put him on follow depending how your setup is probably work better try and walk him around a little bit just get him moving seems to help him reset for some reason so get him to move around a little bit doesn't take much though to turn off following Put some poop back on them. Now, some say use only fresh poop. Don't use the old poop. I've it works for me. Putting the same poop on, you just got to go through this process, and then we enable wandering again. That should reset them for at least one more go to get your fertilizer again. Um, definitely not fixed. I've tried uh, new dung beetles since the patch where they said they fixed them. No change. They eventually just stop producing. Uh, as you can see here, I got a, a separate little pen area. Now this, I actually built specifically because of dung beetles. And I like the idea of having some of your dinos on Wander. Brings life to your base. Um, but I kept having a problem. Everything would be fine. Doug Beetles walk around. It would be fine for days and days and days and days and then poof. Gone. Oh, well, fluke. Maybe a predator got in. Not that I noticed anything, any change. So I go get a new dung beetle. Put him in here. Fine for days and days and days and then poof. Gone again. So that's why I built that little pen. 
at least he's not disappearing. S seems to be working. This is what I'm just building right now. Working on a little egg barn. Um, so what? I semi stole this idea from one of the Pooping Evolve guys. Uh, it was either Drax LP, Drax, or. Uh, <laughs> brain fart. Sorry, it was definitely one of those guys. What they did is just built with ramps. I'm trying to do it with Ruse just to kind of give it a slightly better look. Um, ramps are nice because they got a steeper angle, so you're assured that that. Egg's going to roll nice for you, but it just doesn't look quite as nice to my eye. Um, I'm trying different materials, just to... I'm not the king of egg layers. But, um, as you can see under here, just in case things fall through, I can grab them. So I kept that space open in behind. Now, of course, the thatch, things fall through the thatch. But that's okay, because it's... It, with the guys up on... larger dinos up on top. Um, if the eggs fall through, that's fine. Then I can just pick them up down here where I want to... Makes it easier for me anyway. Now, for the most part, I have not had any eggs fall through the sloped roof. They do roll down and they tend to stop either just before or on this crease. Because down here we got stone foundations and eggs will fall through stone foundations. So I'm keeping an eye on this. Um, like I said, they, tent they haven't had an egg roll down this far that I've noticed. So it seems to be working. I might have to tear this right out. Um, make sure they land on the ground. Even that's not safe 100% of the time either, but it is probably the safest to just have your eggs roll onto the ground. If you have a nice bare spot, especially, or an easy to spot. Um, you know, and if I'm ever going to build a house, I'm building it out of thatch. Because <laughs> if a thatch roof can hold a stego and a carno without any real support. And that's the stuff right there. So this is what I'm working on right now. Uh, I don't have a ton of egg layers as it stands. You know, some of these things I just did in previous builds. And the novelty has worn off a little. You'll have to... If you can forgive me a bit. Um, I know uh, Dillo eggs for days. I have hundreds stored up already, so if you're wondering why I'm just leaving them around. I have lots. Not bad when you're first starting. Tame a few. It's not a horrible uh, source of food. Because they'll, they'll love to make eggs, that's for sure. So yeah, I'm working on the barn sitch. I haven't quite figured out. You know, uh, like I said, I've this is probably my fifth time starting over. Um, I'm looking for inspiration to make something different. Be easy this to make a simple barn for everybody again but really like trying to do something a little different each time uh, here's just a storage this is all you know your your extra armors your extra weapons um, what are we, building parts so in here, over here we got flyers and mammals, just to keep them separate. Uh, here you see, got my plants, for what I need, this is enough. You know, I, the greenhouse was is nice and obviously I like using it underwater, but for one person, is it necessary? It depends how much you use it, how much you can... I, li I like having 120s, you know, I, I fight and fight and fight to find 120s. So I don't just tame anything that walks by. So that, that works for me. These are kind of my workers. Obviously for your rock and your metal and flint and 
wood, thatch, um, something I didn't show you. Actually, a 120 beaver showed up in my pond. Uh, lots of growling dinos. I hope that's not too loud for you. Uh, all white, 120 beaver. Nice. So I named it Oscar. Ha ha ha. Old joke. It's done. But anyway, something I didn't show you is you can use beavers as a smithy. And a slight leg spike there. So that's nice. And um, I, never, I haven't tested this fully, but apparently the beavers use some sort of compression algorithm. Pretty smart beavers. And wood. You can stack more wood in a beaver than anything else. So wood doesn't weigh as much on a beaver as it does, like I said, on anything else. Something to keep in mind. If you're, if you're debating between the beaver and the mammoth for collecting your wood. This is my work area. We've got the fridges going, some power, industrial grill, smokers, smith the fabricator. Uh, right now, slowly, slowly working on getting some metal. Um, I'd like to put up an industrial forge. As you can see, 2,500 metal, it hurts. Ouch. But I don't really need it. If I did, I'd have a bunch of forages going, like you, sh you know, you would. So I'm just kind of slowly working at it. I'm not building that much out of metal this season, so... Season? Time? Whatever. So I'm just plucking away at it. Uh, here's my storage for raw resources mostly. So you can see thatch, wood, stone, that sort of thing. Blueprints. Um, might uh, kind of went for an open concept. I think it turned out all right. I kind of like it, especially working at night. You got the forges going and whatnot. I don't know, liked it. Uh, reason there is a reason I don't use vaults. Um, I just like. Um, the large for sorting, you know, um, this works better for me to have, you know, I got one for stone and one for wood and one for thatch, and one for fiber, right? Just, uh, I just like s the sorting aspect a little better with just the larges. Uh, my fence to keep most things out. In this area, um, the largest predator I've s ever seen is a carno. So this fence works for keeping anything carno or smaller out. Even compies and stuff don't seem to come in here, which you think they would, but it's not an issue at this point anyway, now that we got a couple uh, 120 T-Rexes out here. I do have to work on getting around to uh, getting a Giga or two to feel truly secure. There's my little indicator for f when you're flying in. Because depending on your angle, it can look like all trees. You actually can miss this giant thing. If you're as sloppy as me, I guess. And, you know, that's really all I got going on right now. Um, of course, as, as we uh, wait for the patch, just doing those underwater crates, building up our elite loot. Um, I can show you right here. Looking at almost all Mastercraft at this point. Um, my fur is not so much. Got the leggings. That was nice. I do have some better blueprints, so I have to go on a pelt run. Upgrade my fur armor a little bit. But really, that's just... Uh, so that's it for keeping up to date what's going on. hope that helps a bit or entertains a bit. Uh, let me know what you're doing while we wait for this slow-to-come patch. Have a good one.